just recall this like last sentence here like the last sentence of the theorem is also is often like really helpful because it gives you this like this like action plan right so it says oh well all i need to do is look at these two places i know how to find these two places um whereas all of this is just like math hypothesis and conclusion kind of stuff action plan down here which is pretty sweet okay so let's see our critical point endpoint so that's going to be one three halves three right and then Let's see, if we plug one into the function, what do we get? So we get zero, right? So this is gonna be zero. If we plug three into the function, what are we gonna get? So we got negative nine plus nine minus two, we have negative two. Is that correct? Yeah, that seems right, right? Okay. Then if we plug three halves into the function, well, I mean, that's a little bit trickier. Notice we have minus nine over four plus nine over two minus two, but let's maybe write this nine over two as 18 over four and write this two as eight over four. So what's that when we just smash all those together? Yeah, one over four, so it's a quarter. So now we can just like look at the right-hand side of our char chart, find the biggest number, find the smallest number. So that means here we have a maximum of a quarter and here we have a minimum of negative two. So how would you finish this thing off? Well, you could write a sentence maybe, right? It would be something like this. So F has a maximum value of one quarter at X equals three halves. So that would be like describing this behavior and a minimum value of negative two at x equals three. So that'd be something like this. Furthermore, I think we could like look at the graph of this without a ton of drama. So let's see, there's two, there's three, and then three halves is like right there or something, right? So notice three halves is gonna give you the point one quarter, which is something like this. One is gonna give you the value of zero, then three gives you the value of negative two, which is down here. So we got something like this. So that's the picture of this graph just between uh, one and three. So we can very, very clearly see that maximum occurring at the critical point and that minimum occurring at the end point.